Good day, good day. <laughs> How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and have I got something for you today? Yes, um, this is going to be a little video about collecting. <laughs> this is going to be a little video about collecting. I have a whole um, pages of notes about collecting, not just Land Rover, but just collecting in uh, its entirety as a hobby. And um, this is something that I wanted to point out to um, you all, uh, something that just came across um, to me just recently. What this video is going to be about is how to go ahead and kind of um, not really value or, um, boy, that lighting is just kind of horrible, isn't it? Um, not really kind of how to value your, uh, collection, but kind of how much, um, investment or how much you have in to, uh, certain, um, things in your collection. Okay. Um, so this is, um, um, a, a particular model. This is the matchbox. Uh, let's get focused in here. This is the Matchbox Land Rover SVX, and um, not too many of these um, particular uh, models are out there. This is a Matchbox um, casting that doesn't have a lot of castings uh, variations to it. Uh, I w I'm going to guess. I should have counted less than 20, 25, all right? So less than 25 throughout the span of uh, many years. I'm going to tag that video. I did a whole video on my collection of the SVX uh, from Matchbox. And so you can uh, tag that at the end and watch that. But anyway, this is an uh, interesting story. So back in the day, um, I bought this one here. And it is exactly this one here. This is the Yohi Joe X, uh, J, uh, GX. Uh, and I bought this one from Kmart, and um, which is no longer in um, existence. But I bought it at Kmart in La Crosse, and uh, I paid retail for it. I picked it up at the shelf. I, re I paid retail for it. Unfortunately, none of these have the stickers on it to say how much I paid for it. I believe it was $10. Um, that would be $2 per car. And then uh, plus, um, you know, for the royalties. So I'm going to say $10, something like that. Uh, I could be off a couple of bucks. But anyway, so that was the first one I bought. And it has been kind of a holy grail of mine ever since. I have, uh, this was, um, brought out, this was, uh, back in, let's see, what year was it? Um, uh, 2005. All right. So I bought this brand new 2005, 2006, and I have not been able to find another one or anything like it since then, except for, um, quite a few months ago, I found this one <laughs> and this one had the car in it. I bought this one. It was uh, $35. I kind of went and I went out. I don't normally spend that much for uh, something like this, but it was uh, it was kind of damaged. But it was it came up. It was a holy grail of mine, and uh, $35 plus $10 shipping. So this uh, unit cost me 45 bucks. Way way more than I had normally would pay for anything like this. Um, not only just one, but I got five cars. Okay. So keep that in mind, but this is the most expensive one that per se cost me, um, $45. All right. So after that, I bought and sold that, I did find one on eBay. Uh, the next one I found, of course I found that one on eBay too. Uh, the next one I found was this one here and, uh, mint in the package again, uh, this one was uh, like 12, 12 bucks, 1250 with free shifty, shipping. So, you know, that's pretty good deal. Um, you know, 
Can't beat it. Mint in the package. Can't beat that. Um, now I've got three of them. Well, just recently I picked up this one. And uh, this one was also an eBay purchase. Now this one has a little bit more scuffing on the face, but it's still mint in the package. Very, very nice. Um, now this one cost me um, uh, 26 bucks, 27 bucks plus some shipping, so $7. So a uh, little bit more than um, this one. And this one that I uh, got in the store, you know, 10, 12 bucks. And not as, as much as uh, uh, the uh, $45 one that I found and just uh, had to have so I could have one for my loose display. All right, so this is where it comes interesting for you collectors, okay? And I, I want to break this down, and this is, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if this is a good video to show to your significant other that you have a serious, uh, uh, collection problem or not, but cheese balls, this might, this might, uh, this might help. All right. So what I've done is I kind of broke these down into, um, what I have spent on these and kind of breaking it down and seeing what it, what it was. Okay. So yeah, the last one I bought was, uh, 20 bucks plus seven 99 or seven bucks shipping. Uh, so it was 26 99. So that was what one car but now a, a five case counted me, cost me. Uh, the uh, one previous to that was twelve fifty, uh, free shipping, and um, then the uh, the one that I spent the most on was forty five bucks. It's thirty five bucks plus ten dollars shipping. Uh, this was after several years of <laughs> not seeing hide nor hair of this at all. Not even a loose beat up one, not even in the, in the package. Uh, in the package um, means that it's mint. Now some of these matchbox come damaged <laughs> in the package, you know, uh, they're just, just the square corners and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, and then the original one that I bought and I'm, I'm guessing it was like $10 or something like that. Of course it was free shipping cause I went to the store and picked it up. All right. So the grand total of all, uh, four of these cars that I have spent, uh, 94 49. Now, mind you that in the last, uh, six months, the bulk of this was spent, uh, you know, 10, 12 bucks, 15 bucks was, uh, you know, over you know, 15, almost 20 years ago or more. So if we take that 94.49 and divide it by four, because I have four of them, the individual cost is $23.62 each, okay? That's as it sits right now. So uh, if you're on eBay and you find a car that is uh, hard to find, that came in a five pack exclusive, and you're trying to justify or trying to look for a reasonable price, well, it kind of goes into play with what does it matter in your grand scheme of thing of your collection, okay? So each one of these cars now has cost me 24 bucks. So to, let's say 25 bucks. So out of a hundred dollars investment, because I spread it out and I bought high and I bought low, the average of one of these cars to me in my collection <clears throat> is 25 bucks, thereabouts. So <clears throat> now when you go to buy <laughs> a hard to find, I mean, truly hard to find piece in your collection, Maybe that's something that you can um, use as a formula. Do you have one already in your collection? Like I had one already. Uh, and, and it's very simple if you just uh, did like, you know, if I had one at $15 and I bought one for $45. Uh, so you add that together. So that's uh, 60 bucks. Each one would cost me 30 bucks just about, you know, so you're... I think that math is right. 45 and 15 carry the one. Yeah. 60 bucks. So each one would cost $30. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, one was cheaper. One was more expensive, but in the long run, in your collection, what would it be worth? So 
that's just kind of one way of looking at it. <clears throat> that's why I kind of try to buy um, multiples, whether it's uh, dollar or not, um, <clears throat> uh, mint or not mint condition, because I, I buy some stuff and it's a variation that I don't have. Now, does that add to the value, quote unquote, of my collection? Yes, because I don't have that variation. Is it in mint condition? No, but it's an example that I have. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's in my collection. I can say, okay, here's a variation, a wheel variation. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I have a mint one that doesn't have this kind of wheels, but I have one that's not so mint that, that, that does. So I just wanted to kind of show you examples of how to, I don't know, <laughs> value your collection. Um, now I, <clears throat> I um, am trying to, uh, I don't need this pack, and I'm trying to sell these other five, uh, four cars. I don't need them. I have in the mint package. So if I sold each one of these for, say, $10, boy, the price of this car and all my cars is going to uh, go down in what would be, uh, say, collector's value or investment, invested dollars, because I recoup some of that money. And that's why I, I didn't hesitate in uh, buying this for 45 bucks with this shipping included, is because there are van guys that would uh, collect this and the uh, Yo Ji Ho uh, GX. And uh, I haven't found that guy yet, but hey, uh, someday, five bucks a piece, that's 20 bucks. Or, you know, 10 bucks a piece, depending on what car it is, you know, I will split them up. So um, if you do that route, you know, you've got uh, a little bit more that uh, you can play with that number in your collecting. But let me end with this. I got to get out of here before I lose my voice again. I'm still <laughs> struggling with my cold. The number one thing, number uno one, collect what you love. Do not do this as an investment. This is... Wow. I mean, you're talking about dollar items, <clears throat> you know, as far as mainline, um, there are wild cards out there that, you know, take off and are worth hundreds or whatever. Um, if you do that, you better know what you're doing or you're going to lose your shirt. But like anything, like anything, whether it's the real thing, a real SVX, that go up in value and down in value. Sometimes they go up in value in two years or six months, and then the market crashes and they are, you know, not so valuable for five years. So, um, you know, as far as uh, toys and things like that, I mean, you can today, you can today go and buy original Sweet 16 Hot Wheels red lines in the package. They still are out there yet today in our lifetime. Now, you have to pay for them, yes, and some models are more desirable than others, but, you know, they are still out there. So, um, there you go. That's just some tips on how you can value your collection or how you can <laughs> justify the money that you spend for your collection. Uh, but then it's a guideline on your own. I don't know if you could translate those numbers to another person, but uh, it's only as worth. This is my another number two. It's only worth what somebody will pay for it. And you gotta find that right somebody. Uh, somebody was foolish enough and bought a five pack for $45. <laughs> All right, this is your friend Dano. I'm out of here. Hopefully that was uh, enlightful to you. Give me a big thumbs up if you agree. Give me a double tap, two thumbs down. Double tap that if you didn't like it. Go ahead, comment down below and see what you have to say about it. Come on over to Facebook, Roverland Channel, or Instagram, Roverland Channel. Uh, Facebook is Roverland, just Roverland. Uh, and join us over there, all right? All right, I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great rover day.